Fidiana Hiltoni, a beautiful name for a beautiful nudibranch that's wreaking havoc on local ecosystems. Until recently, this lovely and dangerous sea slug was found no farther north than Monterey Bay. But due to warmer temperatures, this animal's distribution now reaches the coast of Marin. Certainly, this appears to be an extension of its range as a result of climate change. Terry and his colleague Jeff Goddard are local boys. They've studied the local nudibranch populations since the mid-60s. And actually, my very first paper was based on observations I made in junior high and high school. I first started when I was in high school. I had a high school biology teacher who was really a great mentor and would take students out to the local tide pools and on a good low tide you'd find about 30 species or so. They've tracked nudibranch species all along the Northern California coast for 40 plus years, paying special attention to Fidiana Hiltoni as it moved up the coast. As Fidiana arrived in Marin, Duxbury Reef near Bolinas to be exact, Terry and Jeff witnessed other nudibranch species disappearing. When we first saw it, there was just an individual here and an individual there. It was not really common, and they come and go. We thought, well, you know, maybe this is just a temporary thing. But it became, over the years, increasingly common. And then it started becoming the dominant nudibranch that we would find on any given low tide. What in fact was happening was other nudibranchs were decreasing in their numbers at the same time. So we wanted to find out what was going on. I decided to investigate whether Fidiana Hilton and I would actually prey on some of these other species of nudibranchs. You can drop them down in front of a crawling Fidiana and the Fidiana makes contact and, and basically slurps them up. These experiments proved that Fidiana lunches on these other nudibranch species, leaving fewer numbers as they head north. Where and when will this reign of terror end? With global warming, there's predictions that El Ninos might be stronger, basically, and more frequent. So given that, you would expect it to eventually go farther north. But perhaps other nudibranch species will rebound. This last year, though, um, we've seen a little bit of an increase, which is an encouraging sign. So maybe things are beginning to adjust and, and stabilize. So um, I'm hopeful that that's the case. I'm always hopeful.